What's up, YouTube? This is a Jack Dempsey update. It's December 1st. So I've had my Jack Dempsey about, I would say, all of November, all of October. So about two months. About that. When I first got him, he didn't have all that speckles on him. So I think he's about to go into maturity. It was just striping. He's about three and a half, four inches, I think. He, so he's grown pretty much. He's a bully. That's thug. He don't really like uh, too many people. They, uh, he's in the tank. He shares the tank with the, with the cichlid, with the convict cichlid, and he also shares it with the flower horn. The convict, you guys have seen Trip. He be in that rock. He don't really come out too much. And the flower horn up there. They told me I couldn't put him in the tank with the flower horn because the flower horn was going to beat him to shit. It's like not like that. It's the other way around. He do not like that flower horn. He keep that flower horn in that corner for these last couple days because um, I took the... I took my Texas cichlid and I took my gold swamp out of this tank just because he won't, he just runs off with the food. Anytime I put a worm in there, he'll grab the worm, run off of it. If I stick a uh, cichlid divide uh, cube in there, he'll take the cube and just run off with it. Like, he's kind of like a greedy guy. He, he just take the food and run and don't let nobody else eat. So I took the smaller ones out and put them in that bigger tank so that, uh, so that they can eat. And... They're still in this 20 gallon tank, mainly because there's only three fish in here. I'm, I'm about to take these uh, Placos out. I had it in one of my shorts, they got to go. So they just mess up the tank a lot. But think about getting a buddy Kafori to go in there with him and this uh, convict and this flower horn. I'm gonna head to San Jose, about 30 miles south. There you go, fucking with that flower horn. Chasing them around. I'm thinking of Buddy. I think I want a Buddy Kafori. Yep. Trying to figure out if it's a boy or a girl. They keep saying. They say you got to check the patterns on the. You can't tell at this thing. You got to check the patterns on the eyes. But it's like. You gonna stop chasing them. They said the dots on the eyes. He's got like a circle. That's how you can tell. So I got to do some more research to figure out if it's a girl or boy. But ever since I took the other two small fish out of here that used to get along till yesterday, I ain't gonna lie. Cause I haven't, uh, they haven't been out of that tank that long. They've only been out the tank about a day or two. And ever since I, uh, took the two smaller fish out. He's just really been on that flower horn until that flower horn gets tired of him because that flower horn gets tired of him. He will push back, but for right now, he ain't doing really too much of nothing. And can't nobody mess with the convict. The convict is the king of any tank. Another reason why I took the smaller fish out because um he hit my, he hit my gold swam the other day, damn near took a, like I, you can see the scale came off and everything. Like you can see damn near flesh coming out off the, I was like, oh no. So he's good though, but yeah, he's good. He's in the other tank. That convict don't play around. He get mad. When Chip get mad and come out that hole, it's over with. But yeah. My Jack Dempsey's changing on me.